Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. More Super Castlevania 4. And to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen Dracula's castle looking shabbier. But maybe there's a logical explanation. Like, he spent all of his castle budget on spears and axes. I'd buy that. I mean, right now I really would buy a spear for Mr. Belmont to use. Hey, it worked in Bloodlines. An axe would be nifty as well. Oh, I see you there. Book. And ghost. Is that book gonna fly out? Guess not. It's making me very nervous, though. Apparently old Drac is into reading. <laughs> Nerd. Whoa. I feel like that was closer than it probably should have needed to be. Okay. Anything interesting? Any secret nifty items for me to take along with me in my quest? Let's uh, try to avoid the ghost. That just wasn't happening, was it? Oh, I see that one coming up behind me. Uh, get on the stairs, please. Thank you. I don't like all of these crumbly-looking ledges. They look very sketchy at best. Hey, there we go. Boomerang. I like me some boomerang action. Oh my god, it's coming back! We didn't think this through. Oh, let's go down the stairs. It's not like I could have, you know, just fallen into a pit and gotten down there. Perish that thought. I don't like the idea of... Well, for starters, Gargoyle's taking more than one hit. Oh, hi, Book. Whoa, thought you'd be clever. It's like everything in this game is trying to imitate a Medusa head. Ah, it got me. How the hell do I not outwit a book? It's like that scene in Army of Darkness, with the Necronomicon just flying all about the place. I don't like these freaking asshole books. Haha, I got that one. Eh. Nowhere interesting to go from here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not want to fall that quickly. That's a recipe for disaster. Although, I guess it really wasn't. Because everything actually... Well, I was going to say worked out fine, but as we can see, nothing is fine. Nothing will ever be fine again unless I can find a turkey leg, or a chicken leg, or a floating book. Alright, well, I guess I should have been expecting that, you know, being in a library. For whatever reason, I wasn't. Haha! -ha. Oh, that's not a floor there. That's a background decoration. Nope. Nice dick move there, game. Really appreciate that one. That one too. That one too. Your aces. In my book, Super Castlevania 4. Just a real class act. Alright, let's jump across pe precarious floating books again. Seriously, who even keeps a book that big around? What's in that? Is that like the US tax code or something? Because that's the only book I can imagine that would be both as big as a person and able to hover about on demonic power. Hey, there we go. 
That did not take care of the skeleton as immediately as I would have liked. And it's going to get back up before I have time to get back over there. So we want to hit it once. I said, okay, I guess, uh, I guess it's only one hit away from falling back down now. There we go. Atta boy, Luther. Let's move on. Oh yeah, this looks perfectly safe. Grubby old grandma, gram hands. We've got statues that break and zombie dogs that actually stay dead, so great for there. And a turkey leg, just what I needed. So, what's going to jump out and wreck things? So far, this level hasn't been too bad. I mean, without those rotating spikes, it's already better than the last one. You know those rotating spikes I'm talking about. The green ones? The ones that you have to jump right on off of? Okay, if I remember this correctly... Yeah, the carpet's going to try to knock me into the spikes. That's... Be gone. Just kind of whip dangle the bats away. A sentence you knew you would always need someday. Okay, what's up here? Before. Ah! Very sneaky. Oh, we got some more ammo, so that's good. Ah! I shouldn't have gone for it. Clubber Lang strikes again. Yes, I do believe we're at the point where everything is taking twice as many hits. Did that dog just knock the candle right off of the wall, or was that something else that caused that? Haha! -ha. Alright, let's keep on a going. Um. Gross. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. I want that giant centipede nowhere near my cornhole. Nope, not gonna do it. We're not dealing with that nonsense. I will take all that, though. And whatever's in here. She grabbed me. I saw her do it. Okay. Let's just be cool here. Try not to let ourselves be bashed by all manner of background dickery. I don't think that crossbow had anything to do with this, but I'm not taking any chances. Hmm, timer's getting a little treacly there. I don't like my odds here. There, got rid of that one. Now things are slightly safer. Slight being the relative term. Yeah, I destroyed your hand. And I barely got those bats before they got me. Okay, boss time. What do we got? Where am I going to stand and whip like crazy? Oh, wow. This guy's... Um... Actually... Reasonably difficult to hit. Or, reasonably difficult to damage, I should say. And now he's got a sword. But, I got him. Neat. Hey, managed to get a full whip extension on that one. Sweet. So, was that the level? I notice we're only on 7-2. Yeah, take that background. 
Hmm. And then the floor went out as well. So yeah, we actually made it through the whole stage that time in one shot. Well, except for the life I lost, but I didn't have to use a continue. And that's pretty cool. So that level was A-OK -okay in my book. Heh, <laughs> book. Because there were books. <laughs> he, he, he get it? Oh. Nifty, we're in the torture dungeon. So I guess we'll deal with this next time. Until then, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.